Hi, my name is John Mutter. I'm an Enterprise Mobility Architect with Research in Motion. And I'd like to thank you for joining us at Enterprise Jam in Ottawa. Today, we're talking to developers about building applications for Enterprise. As much as BYOD has helped us to bring more and more customers to the BlackBerry platform, it's created a great deal of confusion for Enterprise developers as they try and figure out exactly what their Enterprise strategy should be. BYOD as a strategy was mostly drafted to address the needs of email. Enterprise applications have significant requirements above and beyond email, and that's what we're here to help enterprise developers work with. Things like building applications that extend behind the firewall, building an always-on, bi-directional, highly secure VPN that lets application developers access their enterprise systems securely and in a managed environment. BlackBerry Mobile Fusion BlackBerry Device Service enables enterprise customers to use BlackBerry Balance to ensure that they have a work perimeter and a personal perimeter that allows a separation of their personal and work life. The work perimeter gives enterprise developers a place to install applications that are managed, encrypted, and secured by the enterprise, while still having a place to do their social media, games, personal photographs, and personal email and contacts. We also are talking about our new development tools, the NDK for Cascades and BlackBerry WebWorks. We're most excited about BlackBerry WebWorks in the enterprise as it very closely aligns with enterprise strategy of code once, deliver to many. It's an agnostic, generic, cross-platform development methodology that enables enterprises to build compelling applications that can access 100% of the smartphone's native APIs using nothing more than HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Hi, this is Ross from N4BB.com. I'm here with John Mutter of Research in Motion. He is the, um, what is it? The enterprise Mobility Architect exactly. Leader. Exactly. Yeah. So he deals with the enterprise applications and how to um, give developers all the tools they need so that they can build the uh, proper enterprise apps for BlackBerry 10. So can you talk to us a little bit about how uh, BlackBerry 10, um, as far as the enterprise goes, um, how does that help developers? So one of the biggest aids is giving developers access behind the firewall to enterprise systems. So literally, with the, with the BlackBerry Enterprise Server and BlackBerry Device Service and BlackBerry 10, uh, you can extend the network identity of your BlackBerry Device Server all the way out to your BlackBerry, which is a, a forming an always-on, bi-directional, fully encrypted VPN that allows developers to build an application, any protocol, any port into their back-end systems. So that is extending your apps from mobile to enterprise through the firewall with nothing that the developer has to do but leverage the channel that BlackBerry's made available for them. All right, as far as our companies go, how do, uh, how do companies see this as a way to save money and also make it easier for the employees to use? So it's all covered under the central cow for the BlackBerry Mobile Fusion client, which is all the things that you would do with BlackBerry Enterprise Server and beyond. So there's nothing more to buy to be able to leverage it and use it. Um, with other organizations uh, that sell solutions like this, it's piecemeal. You have to buy individual components to make it all happen, implement a VPN solution, make compromises to your, to your uh, internet-facing web services to make this sort of stuff happen. With BlackBerry, it just happens behind the firewall automatically, and there's nothing you have to do to, to unlock it. All right, it's great. Is there any specific uh, sort of uh, APIs or tools that you can give developers that actually uh, they can have access to on other platforms? Uh, so I'm not sure how developers are, are leveraging something like mobile data service, connection service, or that always-on bi-directional VPN without really just buying a VPN solution all by itself. All right, great. So how would um, an enterprise use um, this in an example application? So it's, uh, it's pretty simple. Imagine that I'm a, a financial institution and I, I, lend, uh, I lend financial products to customers. So I want to enable my sales staff to be able to use uh, my internal enterprise applications from a mobile perspective to sell products. Like let's say originate a credit card loan or open a checking account or a home equity line of credit, something like that. Uh, the, the employee would be able to use the application on the mobile device 
to tap directly into the systems that exist behind the firewall. That, uh, that tap would happen from mobile data service connection service, available on BlackBerry device service, BDS, and it's, uh, it's seamless for the developer to tap into it. They would use it as if the BlackBerry was physically connected to their network.